Greetings everybody out there in the watch loving world. I want to uh, talk today about uh, another addition to my watch family and uh, and tutor and I want to let, every, let everybody know that I'm turning into pretty much uh, you know Seiko's my favorite watch and then Tudor's right there for a luxury watch it's made um, it was founded by Hans Wilsdorf the founder of uh, Rolex and so Tudor is related to um, Rolex you know nobody can deny that I mean oh people say it's it's not a Rolex it's not a Rolex okay well for for years and years of Tudor's history whatever watch Rolex made Tudor made one that with a more affordable model with an ETA um, engine in it with a caliber so anyway the watch I want to talk about today well first I want to show you I'm wearing my Seiko Saab 17 and um, <clears throat> I was out in the woods a couple weeks ago and I uh, watched a video on how to uh, use the compass inside this thing and it, it works <clears throat> but anyway the watch I want to talk about today is the Tudor Black Bay model 79730-0003 and I uh, might as well show you the watch here too absolutely gorgeous now this is a uh, Tudor Black Bay and it has the um, date on it but anyway this watch was introduced at Basel World in 2017 so it's only three years old I, I know this is no more than three years old because it was released in 2017 <clears throat> it's a 41 millimeter stainless steel and it's 316L stainless steel, but this has a stainless steel bezel. Uh, it's it's a in-house caliber now, uh, Tudor movement, the manufacturer Tudor 5612, which uh, has the date, and I have not had a problem with that date. I think um, not at all. I mean, it's, it's running perfectly. But anyway, it's a manufacturer Tudor MT5612 in-house movement, and if you look that caliber up, it looks a lot like a Rolex movement. It has the bridge on the hairspring and everything. It looks like um, Rolex had a big hand in, de in designing this movement. <clears throat> but this is a high beat watch. It beats at 28,800 beats per hour. And it has a blue parachrome hairspring. So it's anti-magnetic because it doesn't have a um, steel, spring steel hairspring. It um, it has a uh, silicone hairspring, which is pretty nice, and this has seven a uh, seventy hour power reserve, so this is nice. But this is this is my favorite watch. So the other ones they get sit down, but then uh, I I wore this for a month straight. And then I just forced myself to take it off because um, you know I just absolutely love it, and it's got the date on it. You know, to me having a date on a watch is a very important function and um, <clears throat> it's it's one of the most important functions you know I, I look at the date quite a bit on a watch <clears throat> do I have to no I can um, look at my phone like everybody else but I just like having the date on the watch <clears throat> so this is the Tudor model 79730 the water resistance on this is uh, 200 meters or 660 feet. Now rest assured, I'll never be going 660 feet deep in this unless I'm on a ship and it sinks, okay? Um, I, I might swim in a pool. But anyway, it's got the beautiful, it's got the uh, Tudor logo, the rose on the, uh, It's it, on the on the dial of this. It has the shield up here at the, by the twelve o'clock, <clears throat> and right here it has the um, it has the Tudor rose, and then you can see that black um, tube there. This is where this thing screws down to, and it gives you your two hundred or your two hundred meter water resistance, and it has the Rolex back to it. Now this bracelet is not the stock bracelet that comes on this watch. I bought it from a guy and he had it on a um, rubber bee bracelet, which was nice, but 
but it would not fit my 8 inch wrist. That sucks. <laughs> but I bought this bracelet, and it's a Tudor bracelet from England. I bought it from the United Kingdom probably a year ago, and I put it in a box. Okay, it's for a Black Bay 41. And so I thought, well, I think it'll fit. So I took it over to my uh, watchmaker, who's absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, the, the rubber bead would barely fit on my wrist, but I took this uh, Tudor bracelet over there and uh, it fit right on the watch. And lucky for me, I don't have to buy a link for it. And it's pretty much my daily wear watch now. <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, so I'm careful with it. You know, when I, 20 years ago, when I got my Seiko SKX, I banged that thing all around, but I wasn't thinking about the watch. I was thinking about other things. And now when you're wearing a uh, $4,100 Tudor, that's what it costs with tax, you're thinking about your watch. You're not going to be banging it into doorknobs and things. And Anyway, this uh, sapphire crystal is more scratch resistant than um, the um, other uh, crystals, you know, but it will shatter. So you got to be careful with a sapphire crystal. You can shatter it like, like glass. But anyway, I just wanted to make a little video on the Tudor Black Bay 41, model 79730. And I absolutely love this watch. I like that the stainless steel bezel, you're not going to um, scratch it like you will the aluminum one. And um, although this, this does have some dings and stuff to it, but you know, that's what happens when you wear a watch. And I bought it uh, used on one of my favorite uh, watch uh, channels is Chrono 24. So um, <clears throat> it, um, yeah, I don't like to pay retail. But anyway, this is uh, this is my daily wear watch now, and I absolutely love it. And I would recommend um, if you want to buy a watch, uh, take a look on Chrono 24. They're absolutely fantastic. But this, uh, I love this watch, and. Um, I know people, some of us just have this sickness where we love watches, <laughs> and um, but I recommend this. Now, if this was a Rolex, uh, it'd be nine thousand dollars. So Tudor for years made the Tudor Submariner. Rolex made the Rolex Submariner, and then in nineteen um, after they then they changed it ninety nine. They changed Tudor did to the Hydronauts, Hydronaut one, Hydronaut two, and then in twenty thirteen they came out with the Black Bay. And this Black Bay, you can call it anything you want. It's a Submariner, okay? Um, sorry, Tudor. <laughs> but for marketing reasons, okay, it's a Black Bay. It's still a Submariner. You can dive with it and everything. So if you like the video, hit like, hit subscribe. The more subscribers I got, the better off I am. Thank you for watching my videos. In the end, remember to keep your watches all wound up.